Pare kombrida sahaya. Liko pa leko pa. Rako to topre le kose. Le brido shalamaka. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we give you praise. We thank you, our Father. We give you praise, oh God. In Jesus' most precious name, we have prayed. That your amen is not big enough. Shout a big guy, amen. Hallelujah. You know, we are in the month of what? I, I can't hear you. You must learn to prophesy. You must see prophecy in everything. Glory to God. Why? That is the power that controls your future. Amen. I, I've recommended to you this book. I want you to read it again. I'm going to take a chapter from it this morning. But I want you to read it again and again and again and again. Say amen. amen. Now for those in the gallery, I want you to say the biggest amen you have ever said in your life. Glory, glory, hallelujah. So shout the biggest hallelujah you have ever said in your life. Praise the Lord. We're going to take some time to prophesy. I, I, you know what? I'm, God's going to lead you. I'm going to just help you to start. Amen? But I want to encourage you, as I start with you, punctuate your own and begin to speak words of power. There are angels here waiting to take your words and establish them. Hallelujah. A man is poor because he has, pro he has refused to prophesy. If you see a man that is sick, he has refused to prophesy. Hallelujah. When there was tempest, when there was trouble in the boat, when there is that circumstance that is rocking the boat, rocking your house, rocking your family, or that circumstance rocking your job, do like Jesus. Stand up and face the atmosphere, face the direction and prophesy. The Bible said when the disciples were running about panicking, panicking is the wrongest response to 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 wrong to um to problematic situations does somebody understand what i'm saying listen you calm down and face the circumstance no matter how bad the circumstance is use words from your mouth prophesy and change the contrary wind prophesy and change the position prophesy and change the letter I do not panic. Say amen. amen. Never, never panic. You know, I, 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 we're going to start now. I got a word from that song. He said, he created a masterpiece. And that masterpiece that he created is me. Glory to God. Say, I'm a masterpiece. Say, I'm a masterpiece. I, I excel in everything I do. I live the glory of God. I am the express image of his person. My life is upward and forward only. I do not fail. I do not go down. The glory of God is upon me. Anything I lay my hands on prospers seamlessly. I am making progress every day. I am moving forward every day. The wealth of the nations are directed towards me. The glory of God is upon my life. I'm loaded with limitless possibilities. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ in me, the assurance of success. I do not fail. Christ in me, the assurance of prosperity. I make progress every day. I am complete in Christ's completion. I am sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. The glory of God 
is upon my life. I live by the word of God. The nations of the world are opened unto me. I am rich in Naira. I am rich in SPs. I am rich in dollars. I am rich in pounds. The glory of God is my glory. Paleko to Bahaya. The Lord is my source. The Lord is my light. I'm highly connected. Le koto panarade. I am highly influential. Le roto koto bahaya. Le malerate. Le katahaya. Wealth are channels to me. In the name of Jesus, I do not fail. I am unstoppable. I am limitless. By the power of God's spirit. I can never be disadvantaged. I live in the advantage of Christ Jesus. I am mightily blessed. I am mightily helped. I am marvelously helped of God. I am mightily helped of God. I do not face any circumstances that I do not subdue. I'm laying up gold as dust by the power of God's spirit. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Say amen. Say louder, amen. amen. Say louder, amen. amen. Shout glory. Amen. You know, we are a people of prophecy. Our lives are molded by prophecy. Hallelujah. The Bible said there was nothing made that was made without the word. He said the whole word, the word. He said by faith we understand that the word was framed. You can frame your success. He said the words were framed. This whole building framed by the words we spoke. Is somebody with me? You can frame your aeon. So we understand through faith. We understand that the words were framed by the word of God. Glory to God. Are you hearing me in the gallery? You can frame your world. Say, I refuse to be small. No, you didn't say it like you mean. I, I, I maybe this said, this, say, I refuse to be small. Say, I am big in Christ. Hallelujah. I said it over and over again. I said it. I said it openly. I said it in my room. I said it when, I mean, when the landlord was on my case. I said it when I need her money. I refused to be small. I am big. I said it. I said it so much that it became the blood in my, in my veins. I refuse to be small. There is nothing in this world that I want to get that I cannot get. There is no country in this world that money does not come to me from. I have access to everywhere in this world. Every nation is open unto me. I arise and I shine. Oh, put up, put, put up for us Let's just, I mean, Isaiah chapter 60, let's use it to wrap up this. You know, we are, going, we are going to speak it. Let's use it to wrap up this session. Amen. If, listen, tap your neighbor. Say, if this is all you did in this service, you are made. You are done. I said, we came, we got here by words. We got here by prophesying. That's how we got here. We got here by these things. We spoke forth. 
by the things we created. So we, right now, one of the things I am making you to do and understand is you live perpetually in prophetic. So you are the architect of your life. So you are walking through the, up the stairs in your office, you are prophesying. And as a prophesying, also, you are cutting down anything you don't want. And planting the things you, do, you want. And removing authorities you don't want. In case your boss misbehave, remove him. Just face the wall in the name of Jesus. It is time, I, I don't need to die. I relocate him from that seat. By the power of my words. Elisha said to him, he says, according to my word, there will not be rain or dew. He said, according to what I say. And I'm going to show you why I could say so. Glory to God. We are not Christians to be jokers. We are Christians to rule. We are Christians to reign. Uh, it, does, does it mean there will not be challenges? When the challenges come, face it headlong. You, did not, you, you came so that I can subdue you. You came so that I will reign and we have a testimony. So in the name of Jesus, that arthritis, I command it out. It goes. I live in health. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I live in perfect health. No space for sickness. No space for pain. No space for hospitals. In the name of Jesus. Every fiber of my being is inundated by the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Everything I lay my hands to do prospers. Put back on. Let's look at that. Oh, you are going to, you are going to use this. I'm, I'm going to be... Do you know what? As I am doing my own, be doing your own. You know what we are doing? We are gyrating, right? The rest of the spirit, we are gyrating. We have become unstoppable. Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't fail. You can't fail any exams. You can't fail any interview. It's impossible. Nothing fails with you. Nothing dies around you. Even your dog cannot die. Anything that is connected to me is productive. If I start a poetry, the poetry will do well. Anything I do prospers. He said, the scripture said, whatsoever he doeth prospers. Whatsoever he doeth. That's me, right? Whatsoever I doeth prospers. Is somebody, is somebody hearing me in the gallery? You just started, I mean, I just, I just heard some, you just started a petty business. And let me, I, I, I saw detergents, I saw smart matches, I saw things like that. Is somebody in the gallery, it's a petty business. Listen, that business will dominate that catchment. If you are the one you I'm talking to, see your coordinator, he will make you to see me. You just started it. You, you just in the petty business, it's not up to it's not up to two months. It's just so it's petty business. Well, anything we start grows. Man, you know, we, we have an anointing and a grace for global vision. God is not unrighteous. So God will make us to be given for rhapsody, healing school, healing streams that goes around the world. Do you think you will now start a business that will now be localized? Get me my handkerchief, please. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. Speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. Hallelujah. Who about that scripture for me? Say I'm world class. Say I'm world class. Say I'm world class. 
look at this scripture. So you're going to be fast for us. He says, he says so you're going to put your name, I rise and I shine. I, I'm a city that is set on a hill. So oh, oh, that's your name, but what are you saying? What, what kind of a city are you? I'm a city that is set on a hill. He said, for, he said, for my light is come and the glory of the Lord is what? Risen upon me. So everywhere I go, I carry the glory of the Lord. Glory to God. The next verse, quickly. He said, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness, the people said, the Lord shall arise upon me. Say, the Lord has arisen upon me. And his glory shall be seen upon me. If his glory will be seen upon you, that means you, be, you must be shining so brightly. So in the whole of this world, your business, your life, your work is the very best that the glory of God will be seen upon you. It's glory to God. Look at the next verse. Say, and Gentiles shall come to my light. And kings to the brightness of my rising. So the Gentiles are coming. They come to my light. They come to my business. They come to see me. And as they are coming, they bring resources. They bring, they bring pounds. They bring dollars. It says, kings come to the brightness of my rising. So they come. The kings are coming. They come. The kings, the, the lawmakers, the presidents, uh, the governors, they are coming. They come, they come, to, they come to the brightness of my of my rising. Put back that verse, verse 3. He says, they come to the brightness of my rising. The kings of this world. Hallelujah. Sam Wise. Sit down for a while. Solomon was to say it. Solomon was just one king and he was in his temple and sorry in his king in his kingdom. But the Bible said Solomon was the wisest man that lived at that time. And God prospered him exceedingly. Can you remember? Hallelujah. Can you remember that story? Say amen if you can remember. The Bible said. A man that was not supposed to be king. Do you know, do, do you know Solomon's life story? He was born from that affair that David had. So he was not supposed to be king by the definition of this world. What he became. The Bible said one of the first things he did because he had wisdom. The Bible said they went to the altar place, to the high place where offerings were being laid. And that's why you know what? Don't joke with church. The Bible makes us to understand the church of Jesus Christ is the ground and the pillar of truth. You want to succeed in this world. You want to reign in this world. The church is your anchor. The church is where sacrifices are offered. There is consistent sacrifice going up unto the Lord and the Lord told us specifically in this church certain words. So each time you come into this church there are certain things the Lord told us. He told us specifically that while, because this church is a miracle, he said, anyone that comes into this house and present a petition and present a supplication, makes an intercession and offers a prayer unto me, he says, I will hear from heaven. He says, and I will see and make happen what they say. So every time I'm here, I'm excited. 
Because miracles are happening. Is somebody with me? Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Say, my life is a miracle. Say, I live the supernatural life. Naturally. Glory to God. I, and I, I, I think, you know, I can't, just read that scripture for us again. Yeah. Thank God for screen. I didn't want to go to the scripture. I didn't want to go there. No, no, not this one. But I wrote him, reminded us that day. You know, listen, remember prophecy. So some of the things you said today, remember them. They will happen. So this is one of the things God said to us about, about us. So as we read this, this is about us. Are Thank you, you Pastor. Are, are you there? So remind us, remind us. Second Chronicles chapter 7 from verse 15 to verse 16. You know, you know, I was going to skip this scripture and leave it and go to what I want to do. Now my eyes hold on, hold on, shall hold on, hold on, be hold upon. On, hold on, hold on. Tell me, boy, be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. He will always guide and lead you. I, I, I say in very little small, small things. You know, for this, I, I, I knew that we needed to hear it. But also, I have a plan for this service. We've already achieved part of it. So I wanted to go back quickly to the plan. But the Holy Spirit still reminded me that this scripture, we read it to the hearing of God's people. I still said, okay. And um, I was going to just also leave it. Do you know what happened? As I turned to go up, I just saw the person that the camera was on was Brother Rotimi, who a week ago reminded me of the scripture. I just said, Holy Ghost, I hear you now. Can you read it? Read it now. Just read it. Second Chronicles chapter 7 from verse 15 to verse 16. Now my eyes shall be open. Listen, and his eyes is not open for nothing. His eyes is open because of you. Do, do you know, when God says, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay attention to you. He says, my eyes shall be open. Go ahead. And my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. That's what God told us. He says, my eyes shall be open. And my ears will attend to the prayers that is made in this place. God told us this. How many of you remember when God told us? There was no, there was no this now. So we came and we started praying from here. Go ahead. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house. I, I love that. He says, I've chosen. We, we did not, be, we are not the ones. He you know, before he chose us. But now he says, I have chosen and sanctified this house. That my name may be there forever, and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Glory to God. He says, so his name is here forever. Can't you see why you cannot, you can't die? Can't you see why you can't forsake? He says, his heart is with us perpetually. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I, I would ask this, right? Thank you so much. While I was growing up as a, as a young pastor, I used to say this a lot. And you see, I say it both for me and for my brethren. I said, if you don't believe the word of God, you don't have a business being a Christian. Because the, our lives are regulated by the word of God. So I, I told you about this book, right? I just want to read a part of it. Pastor said in Psalm 8, I'm reading from chapter 3. And that chapter 3, <laughs> the title is You Are God's. God creates. Can God be poor? 
Can God be sick? In Psalm 82, the psalmist gives a very touching narrative of the course of men's life when they lack the knowledge and understanding of God's will concerning them. And now, in that Psalm 82, I read, say, God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judged among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and accept, accept the presence of the wicked? God is placing judgment in your hands. When you allow sickness, you just you judge unjustly. Somebody did not hear me. When there's something to be done in church, how, how did I get here? And you are not a partaker of that thing. You judge unjustly. When there is a position to take, and you don't take the position and reign, you judge unjustly. Ask your neighbor, do, do you know what that pastor is saying? I'm speaking to people in class 10 now. If you're in class 2, no problem, I will soon come back to your level. If you're in class 1, I'll come back to you, your level shortly. You know why? God has given me or given us the capacity and the ability to judge rightly. Make things be in their right place. Ensure the foundations of the world are not out of course. So I, I read it. It says, God standeth in the congregation of the, of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. He now said to the gods, how long will you judge unjustly and accept the presence of the wicked? Selah. He said, defend the poor and the fatherless. So when we, the things we're doing, we, 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 are, we, we are sending relief to catchment. We, in our city, he says, he says, it's your job. I brought you as a judge to be there. He says, he's made us kings and priests unto himself. So he now says, defend the fatherless, defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the, to the afflicted. Don't allow anyone not be born again around you. Don't allow anyone go through pain or be sick around you. Cast out the demon and make him live the life God has called him to live. He says, deliver the poor and needy. Read them out of the hand of the wicked. Tell your neighbor, that's our job. He said, read them out of the hand of the wicked. You know, goodness to me. So, he, so someone is asking, even me, me, I'm, I say, even me now, I'm supposed to be the poor. I, I, I say, would you read them out of the wicked? Would you do this one? He now, he, he now begins to explain. Is somebody with me? He says, deliver the poor and needy. Read them out of the hand of the wicked. Both with your words of prophecy. You see, God, crea God created us for the glorious life. God created us for the supernatural life, for the life of dominion, the life of reigning. So he said, in, in, where in your aeon, in your world, he says, he says, put back, now that I want to begin to use yours, put, say then, no, 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 put back the other scripture now. I want to, he says, the, before this, he says, say that defend the poor and fatherless. How do you do that? Step into their situation and change their course. Be a part of the inner city. Be a part of the global evangelism that we're doing. Send rhapsody to China. Send rhapsody to India. Send rhapsody to Indonesia. 
Send relief. So, Kenya, to every nation of the world. Oh, we are building inner city schools. Be there. He says, he says, he says, defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to, to the afflicted. He said, do justice and the, uh, to the afflicted. Uh, the next, the next one. To the afflicted and needy. He said, deliver the poor and the needy. Read them out of the hands of the wicked. Brothers and sisters, living for yourself is not only selfish. Now listen to me very carefully. Living for yourself alone. It's okay, I am very good. It's not only selfish. It's the surest path to poverty. The first our father of faith, God told him. He said, I will bless you. Is that what he is? Is that all he said? And do what? He said, The reason I'm blessing you is to make you a blessing. Say, I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. Glory to God. So the next verse, let's try. Um, I, I need to now wrap, wrap, wrap up. He now said, so someone said, hi, but how will these things be? How, how will I defend the poor? How will I defend the fatherless? How will I do justice? How will I do these big things? How will I do it? He said, I have said. Ye are what? Gods. You have creative ability. I, I create wealth. I create influence. I, I create positions. He said, I have said. So I mean, he's, he's told them before. They did not hear. He's telling them again. They are wrestling with it. With, with, with all the challenges around me. We, we are kind of, he says, but God, he says, he says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you are what? The children of the most high. I live the supernatural life. Because in this realm, he has made me a god to this world. God told, God told Moses, he says, I've made you a god unto Pharaoh. Do you know what I'm saying? In the Old Testament, he says, I've made you a god unto Pharaoh. So if God can tell someone in the Old Testament that the Holy Ghost does not live inside him, that does not have the revelation that I have now, that I made you a God unto Pharaoh, how much more me, I'm a God in this world. He's made me a God in this world. So it's, the world is in my hands to, to direct the way God wants Because I'm sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Glory to God. This week, demonstrate the God life. Everywhere you go, speak and create. Everywhere you go, let Jerusalem come to your mind. Defend the fatherless. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, deliver the afflicted. Oh, put your monies into the kingdom. That's what God's do. The Bible said, for God so loved the world, what did he do? He gave his only begotten son. He wanted to demonstrate his godness. He gave the very best to get the world on course. That whosoever believeth on him should not perish. Delivering the afflicted. Whoever believed on him should not be under the affliction of the devil. Should not be subject to the rudiments of this world. Christianity is big. Christianity is not religion. No, it's the positive life of the resurrected Christ. That brings us into, into 
into partnership and pensionship with the creator. We have become associates of the God of the God kind. Is somebody hearing me in the gallery? Yeah. We've been born into a life of greatness. Amen. All right, I need to wrap up. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. He said, but you die like men. You get broke like men. You get sick like men. He said, that's not the plan. The plan is that you, you are rich as God. You speak as God. You create as God. You prophesy as God. Said so that's the plan. Do you know there was a time God got into a situation with himself? He, he, he found himself in a situation he didn't like. Do you know? Yes, he did. I said every time certain things happen and God steps in and sends a prophet to change it, it's a sign that God saw a situation that he didn't like and he needed to step in and cause it to change. That's what God do. So the Bible said in, in this particular case, in Genesis chapter 1, God looked at the earth that he created, I mean, in the deadless past. And the Bible says, the earth was without form and out of course. So how the, all the foundation of the earth was off. That was a situation, right? Where this bill coming, this, mm, this report everywhere. Every, it's like, ah, is it only me? Yes, it's only you. Only you one. You are more than enough. Balance well. You know what I'm saying? You balance. So this bill come. Hey, this challenge come. Your mother come. Every, ah, balance well. Balance well. Just balance well. Balance, as well, balance well. You are, you are, because you want to deal, you want to change. La kipo pe e pe le baharadis. Marateko pa ata haradia. Lile la anze le liko paha. Sa atu so pahaya. As you are praying, the Holy Ghost is giving you the root cause. So le in so fradida haya. That matter from my mom's area in the limaki so paha. In the name of Jesus, I cut off from the cut, from, cut it off from the cause, from the root. In the name of Jesus, and the resources for what need to be done, I receive my take -over. I am laying up gold as dust because that's what the Scripture says. I am the head, I'm not the tail. I am, I'm, I, I am making progress, so I can't be in confusion. Tell me about balance well. Balance well. Balance well. <laughs> I saw a picture. You know, yesterday, I, I, I mean, I came in from Lagos. I just, I, I was being, I just came in from Lagos, actually. So I, I, I had to be in a function. When, permit me, permit me. You see, you must make your life the way you want it, right? So, they, they sent me a picture of the, one of the, one picture of me in the thing I was doing and I was talking. When I saw me, I loved me. Because the way I stood, I knew I was in charge. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't stand as if the world, you only, you don't want to die now. No, you, you don't want to die. You cannot die. You belong, in this church, we don't die. In this church, we don't fail. So you, there's a way, there's a way you will arrange. And even if the devil, when the devil sees you, you say, no, this, this no, 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 it's not, it's not him. It's not, no, 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 no. Even the way he's looking, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no. So the demon will go, and he will say, go back to the devil. Give me another assignment, that guy. That guy, no, that guy is not. I, mm -mm. The, the tongue he speaks are too many. His prophecies are too many. I, I mean, like, let me try and wrap. He says, let me try and wrap up on this. I, 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 I'm, I'm, he says, and I've said you are gods, 
and all of you are the children of the Most High. So, but you die like men and fall like one of the princes. The next verse. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Say amen. amen. We inherit all nations. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So it's very important. You must. It's very important that you occupy your place and speak the word of God and prophesy into your aeon. Amen. One very last scripture that I must, I must read. Amen. I read it on on Wednesday. But there's a First King chapter chapter seventeen. This scripture will make me to hit more beyond my time now and that's not too good first king chapter 17 from verse 8 right now uh, let me be sure no 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 if you start from verse 1 we will not close today i'll be i'll be too excited from verse 8 from verse 8 don't start from verse 1 please leave verse 1 in. because you know you you must operate in your office say amen oh lord jesus christ Say amen. amen. The way you are looking at me, ah, if you believe what I'm saying, say a, the biggest amen ever. Amen. My uncle Suvilansa Aselit, Likuku Pa Ant Ritush. I speak the truth to you and I lie not. We are where we are today because of the words of prophecy we spoken in time past. The future that is great that you see will only come into manifestation if you come into office, there's an office of the prophets for your life. Step into that office, hear the spirit. If you don't occupy that office, you will never see the glory of God, said the Holy Spirit. Paul said, he said, I'm an apostle to the Gentiles. I occupy my office. He's not saying, I, I, I'm, no, he's saying the destiny of the Gentile race, I control it. That's the office. I've not seen somebody in an office, they write a big name in the office, he does zero in the office. Yeah. You have a big office. Put back this people. Uh, this. If you are in the gallery, say, I refuse to be small. Yeah. And you know what? Stay in church. Stay in church. Whether somebody comes to remind you or not, stay in church. I stayed in church and I became the very best of God for my life. Since then, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, who, who did the word of God come to? Elisha, right? Saying, Arise, get to Zerophite, which belonged to, to Zidon, and dwell there before, before. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain you. Say, I live by prophecy. Say, I live by the word of God. I live by the, by the guidance of the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost, God told him, Live here, stay, go to this place. He says, I have commanded sustenance. God knows where you will stay that you will not struggle. That's not something I don't even pick up the post. Hey, that's not your job. Hear from God where to stay. The Bible said, as Ziggler, David asks, he asks, they bring their effort. God, see what has happened. They have destroyed our camp. They have taken our wives captives. They have taken our children. Oh God, should we pursue? He asked God. God said, pursue. Uh, oh, I, th I thought I'm going to, please note that scripture for me. I'm going, to, I'm going to dilate it, dissect it in the second service. 
Esther, can you hear me? Note it for me. That particular scripture. When you are walking in God's, in God's will and guidance and di- direction, you'll be, you'll be super confident. You see my swag? It's because I know I'm walking in God's will. It's not because I think I know something. I know that no, no, I'm walking in perfection of God's will. And I know I, I, I go bigger every day. Get stronger every day. More influential every day. With greater capacity every day. So he said, I'm to sustain you. He said, so he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. So immediately he said, hey, get me some water. Of course, he did not even greet the widow woman. The God already told him, he said, hey, get me some water that I can drink. Look at the next verse. I want to roll. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, this is prophetic, right? He's a prophet. He said, and said, bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. And she said, I, t- I explained this, but I won't do that now. As the Lord, so the widow will now have to explain her situation. It says, as the Lord that God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, terrible, two sticks. That I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and do what? Die. So it was like, this was our last thing. Things are going to go, things are not getting better. So, and so he explained to the widow, to the prophet. Look at what the prophet said. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not. Tell him about fear not. You know why Elijah said to her, Fear not? Fear paralyzes faith. A word can come to you. Give five billion or give five million or give one million. And that's all you've been gathering. The woman just says, I just have little. I just a little. So that I just gather and, and we will just eat. And that's all we have. That's our life saving. And then I said, Fear not. I serve, I said, I serve a God that puts money in your account that you did not work for. That makes you to reap where you did not sow. That makes you to live in houses you did not build. That makes you. <laughs> I told someone, I said, you can walk in Julius Beggar and they will pay you in Sechako. It has happened to me. Yeah. I said, yeah, yes, that's why I did the work. He said, make for me so now they look at all the like Elijah. Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said. That means you are going to make for your children, for you and your child, but make me thereof a little cake first. Tell anybody, neighbor, first. Tell your neighbor, God first. The prophet, the prophet said, What you should do, go and make you definitely. Because the prophet knew, I'm going to prophesy. And you will not die. He said, but go and do what you have, what you said. He said, but make for me first. So do God's own first. And bring it unto me. After make for thee and for thy son. You know, the prophet does not understand lack or negativity. So that, yeah, yeah, yeah. he said, no worry. There's enough. Because after I speak, you and your generation we begin to live in abundance. Another, now, as I said, it's not said, for thus said the Lord God of Israel prophesying, the barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord shall send rain upon the earth. I prophesy to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, your account, your finances, your sources of income shall it shall not fail, it shall not go dry, it shall not go empty in the name of Jesus in adverse 
situations you are flourishing you are making progress you are prospering you are laying up gold as stars ah! the barrel of meal shall not waste neither shall the cruise of oil fail when there is a need when there's something to do you will not fail to be a part in the mighty name of jesus christ i release abundance upon your life but remember the prophet said do god's own first when you come to god's house do god's own first there's rapture to the do do God's own first. There's healing school to do. Do God's own first. There's inner city to do. Do God's own first. And the barrel of meal will never waste. Neither will the cruise of oil fail in your house, in your, in your family. You will eat bread without scarceness. You will spend your days in abundance. And the kings of the earth will find you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say a big amen.